Yo, what's up traders? Welcome to a new video and in this video I'll be showing you a trading strategy and uh, this trading strategy is kind of special because it's claimed by professional traders that this is the best ADX trading strategy. So I'm really curious. In my previous video I already went over this trading strategy more in depth. If you want to know more information about this trading strategy just check out my last video. But in this video, I will test this trading strategy 150 times. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so as I mentioned before, in my previous video, I went over this trading strategy way more in depth. But in this video, I will briefly show you a buy and a sell example according our rules. So first of all, we need three indicators. We need the exponential moving average. So if you're looking for the moving average exponential, just use this one. Then we're looking for the ADX indicator, which stands for the average directional index. And we're looking for the RSI as well, relative strength index, and that's it. Then of course, we need to adjust the settings. So we go to the exponential moving average and I use the 50, length 50. And of course I'm playing around with the colors. I like red. So yeah, just choose whatever color you like. Then we have the RSI. Make sure to disable the RSI based moving average. And I'm using the 20. So do not use default settings, but use the 20. And uh, yeah, you also need to have the 70 and the 30 RSI bands. And then we go to the ADX. I use the red color and then make sure to use the 20 and the 20 instead of the 14 uh, as default settings. So yeah, use the 20 and the 20. And yeah, that's it. Now we have adjusted our indicators. All right. The trading steps are as follows we can only take a buy trade when the price is above the 50 exponential moving average and we can only take a sell trade when the price is below the 50 exponential moving average by the way we are also looking at the 50 minute time frame and in this case the euro usd pair so again above the 50 exponential moving average we're only looking for buy opportunities below the 50 exponential moving average we're only looking for sell opportunities then let's say that we're looking for buy opportunities um, then we also need to wait for the adx to cross the 25 level so what i recommend is to go over here click on horizontal line and place it on the 25 level so place it about here then it's really easy to see when the ADX crosses the 25 level. So we only take a trade when the ADX is above the 25 level. doesn't matter if it's a sell trade or a buy trade. The ADX line has to be above the 25 level. So again, we're looking at the price that is above the 50 exponential moving average. We see that over here the ADX is above the 25 level then finally we need to wait for the rsi to be above the the rsi level needs to be above the 70 line which is about here and yeah that's the case as well about here so we take the trade and then we need to place our stop loss and our tp so we take our we place our stop loss at the latest low of the adx indicator which is about here this is the latest low so we place our stop loss here then we place our take profit but we do not use a standard one to one or a two to one or a three to one risk reward ratio no we close our trade manually and we close our trade when the adx line crosses below the 25 level so over here is above so we take the trade about here and then when it's below the 25 level we close the trade which is about here so in this case we made 0.41 percent if we risk uh, one percent as you can see risk reward ratio is 0.5 to one so that is an example of a buy trade let me show you an example of a sell trade as well 
all right so over here we see the price is below the 50 exponential moving average then we look at the ADX and we see that over here the ADX is above the 25 level let me show you over here we see that the price we see that the ADX line let me zoom in a little bit the ADX line is above the 25 level so then we only need to wait for the RSI the condition is that the RSI needs to be below the 30 level which is about here over here we see that it is below the 30 so we place the trade and then of course we need to place our stop loss so when we take a sell trade then we need to place our stop loss at the latest high of the ADX so just the other way around of a buy trade so in this case the latest high is over here which is about here if we look at the price so we place our stop loss about here then of course our TP is not set to a 1 to 1 or 2 to 1 risk reward ratio but we need to wait for the ADX to cross down and close below the 25 level which is about here and then we manually close the trade which means that this trade turned out to be a 1.98 to 1 risk reward ratio trade which is yeah of course a nice trade because as you can see over here the ADX indicator closes below the 25 level about here so then we close the trade manually over here and then in total we made almost two percent if we risked one percent all right that were the instructions let me test this trading strategy 150 times i will pause this video and come back to you when i'm done all right here we are with the results and yeah to be honest i'm i'm not impressed i'm totally not impressed and yeah, when I backtested, when I started backtesting this trading strategy, I realized quite quite quickly that this wasn't the best trading strategy. And that's quite an understatement. And yeah, as I mentioned, uh, one of my subscribers just made me aware of this ADX strategy built by professional traders. And yeah, the claim that this is the best is, uh, yeah, it's simply not true and yeah i'm not a big fan of this trading strategy and that is backed by the results so the instrument we use was the euro usd and we use a risk reward which was not a one to one or a two to one but this was a variable uh, sometimes we made 0.4 percent profit sometimes we made 1.5 percent profit sometimes we made 0.15 percent profit so um, yeah this was variable we used the 15 minute time frame for our testing and we took in total 150 trades the winning percentage wasn't even that bad to be honest 75% um, but yeah as you can see it took us 18 months so that is one year and six months which is quite quite some time but it doesn't matter if you're also making gains nice gains of course but uh, that wasn't the case because as you can see we made in total 14 percent and we risk we risked one percent so in total 14 percent uh, after 18 months that is not something that i would recommend and uh, we had four wins in a row and five losses in a row um yeah i mean this is this is not something that i would recommend and yeah honestly i also wouldn't believe everyone that claimed that their strategy is the best or people that present themselves as professional traders or whatever so yeah as i said um these are the results i wouldn't recommend it the reason why this trading strategy also didn't perform well was because of the strange stop loss placement i don't see the logic behind it but um, yeah that's also the reason why this trading strategy didn't perform that well and i also noticed that 
the RSI when when it crossed the, the, the 70 or the 30 level the biggest move was already done so yeah it's just not my my cup of tea it's not something that I uh, that I prefer if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and I see you in the next video